we're gonna be talking about furries. See ya! What's going on my fellow fuzzbuds? Zabo Soro here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. Okay, so some of you may not have heard about this, but a couple of days ago, YouTube celebrity Shane Dawson decided that he wanted to do a video on furries. And the one furry that he chose to interview is this guy right here, goes by the name Kiro the Wolf. And there's just been a little bit of topsy-turvy talk about that entire situation. Most of it's been very positive, but there has been some negative things that have been said. Okay, so I didn't really know anything about Carol the Wolf before this video. I did, however, know about Shane Dawson because I've been on the YouTube scene for quite a long time now. And Shane Dawson, he's an old, old school YouTube. An old school YouTuber like way back in the, the beta days where Smosh and Ray William Johnson were still a thing. <laughs> Yeah, way back then. And so, you know, he just does this little video where he's just asking Kiro these questions. And Kiro, he he represented our community in a super, super positive way. Well, that's my next question. So, you know, there's a big myth or um, stereotype, I guess, of furries, which is that it's a solely sexual thing. And a it's, lot of you guys say it's not, right? It's not. Honestly, the age variation in furries, it can go anywhere from a person to be 12 years old to like 60 years old. There's a huge range of ages in here so most of the furry phantom is not a fetish there is a sexual side to it but it's not that large he answered all the questions that he needed to he was upfront and honest you know there was nothing he did wrong but despite all of that there's still people saying negative things about Kiro more going towards the situation as far as who Shane Dawson picked because Everybody, they can, you know, rat and rave and go on and say, oh, well, I could have said that better and that should have been me and all this stuff, hearsay, yada, yada, yada. But when it comes to that situation, everybody in our community couldn't have been in that spotlight because whoever Shane Dawson had in mind, that's who he chose. And some people are salty about that. Some people are proud of that. And as a result, Kiro's YouTube channel is growing exponentially. Like, he's getting 10,000 subs day by day, which is absolutely crazy. But then again, Shane Dawson has this really big following. I think he's almost at 10 million subscribers. And a lot of people, they see this as, you know, Kiro just trying to coattail his way up to the top YouTubers. And the way I see it, it shouldn't matter how a furry YouTuber gets their exposure so long as it's positive exposure because we as a community, we need more things like this to happen for the big people on the internet to like reach out to us and spread a more positive word on our community. Because as we know, most of the things that people hear about furries are not positive things. And people like this, people like Shane Dawson can help spread that word a lot further than our individual voices because he's already got tens of millions of people behind him. So if he's projecting that good image to all of his followers, then it's gonna roll downhill and you know, people are gonna kinda have a better understanding about our community and then it'll just go up from, from there. So kudos to Kiro the Wolf for, you know, growing his channel and becoming one of the great the furry people, I guess you could say, like one of the big faces of our community. He's got a huge influx of fans coming to his channel, so I'm pretty sure he's going to treat his fans with the utmost of respect and love. And hopefully one day, you know, more of this will happen. We'll have more and more fursuiters kind of popping up out of nowhere, getting in that limelight, growing their channels, and just continuing to project that positive image because we need all the, we need all the positive exposure that we can get. So... Super, super thumbs up to Carol the Wolf and super, super thumbs up to Shane Dawson. I know it looks like I have really stubbly thumbs. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I wanted to say on the matter. And for the people that are 
you know, shedding negative stuff about Kiro, saying that, oh, he doesn't deserve that spotlight, and that there's other people who could have done a better job, and there's people who already have big followings that Shane Dawson should have reached out to, it will be okay, because he had his moment to shine. Just let him have that moment. And there will be other moments like that in the future. It may be one of you guys watching, it might not be. You never know. Just keep on doing what you do and things will look up eventually. <laughs> but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So, if you like this video, you can go ahead and scratch that like button so that I can know to post more awesome content in the future. Don't forget to share it with one of your friends. <laughs> you want to talk to me? Have some Twitter. You want to stay updated as well as know where the next Q&A is going to be? Have fair affinity. Want to drop fan artists out with the circle? Fan artists always welcome. Keep it PG-13. But as always, my name is Abba the Circle, and I'm out of here. Pfft, la, 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 la. We'll get to the hobby and the lifestyle in a second, but I want to get to the sex.